What's up everybody? This is David with Average Joe Life and in today's video we're going to be going over 15 products that I bought from one of my favorite places to buy pet supplies out there. That's going to be Chewy.com. Now they're not a sponsor of this channel in any way shape or form but they do have the best customer service I've ever seen and their prices are way cheaper than going out there and buying things retail so I love to order through them. My only problem is when I go on their website everything is rated either four or five stars so it's impossible to tell what to actually buy because most people just go on there and go hey it's a great product five stars move along. Very, very hard to tell what's worth your money and what's not when everything's rated like that. So I figured we'll go through 15 products and talk about exactly which ones are worth your money and which ones aren't. As always, my test subject here, gonna be my buddy Jasper. He's a one year old, 60 pound Husky Boxer mix. So he's a quite the power chewer. He absolutely destroys toys out there. But like I said, we have 15 products to get through. That's an absolute ton. So let's go over the scoring system really quickly, and then jump right in. If you do have any questions, because I'm gonna go through these relatively quickly, leave in the comment section down below. I'll answer the best I can. Anyways, let's hop right into the scoring system. So I am a little bit of a tough critic, but here's what we're gonna be taking a look at. I'm gonna be scoring them from zero to 10. So number 10 is gonna be the best product ever designed. Not gonna grade anything that because, hey, what if we find something better down the line? It, this one's no longer the best product. Nines are gonna be my favorite products of all time. So very, very few products are actually gonna make it into this category over the course of this channel. But hey, these are gonna be my favorite products ever. Eights are your must buys. So if you have a dog that is a power chewer like mine, this is a product you absolutely must have. Sevens are gonna be your great products. So not must buys, but absolutely worth buying if you do have a dog, because hey, they're absolutely great products. Your sixes are gonna be your okay to good products. So these are gonna be the things that, hey, it's definitely worth having. It's one of those non-essentials. So, you know, this toy or this toy doesn't really matter which one you pick up. They're both good. Our fives are gonna be your kind of, maybe if they're on sales. So, you know, it's definitely not worth buying at retail price, but if you can find a sale on it, it's absolutely worth buying because it's a decent product. Finally, we're gonna have our zero to 4.9 and these are your passes. These are your nice try, but I wouldn't spend any money on this product. So number one is actually gonna be the stainless steel personalized dog tags that they have on here. These are only $7.95. On the front, you actually print out your pet's name, and on the back, you can put your name, your address, as well as your phone number. So if your dog ever gets out there, obviously whoever finds them, they don't have to take them to the shelter or whatever to go ahead and get that chip read. They can just take a look at the back. It has your address, it has your phone number, and everything like that. So it's a pretty cool product. I was very excited to buy it. Unfortunately, over the course of the last year, it's absolutely faded, but because of the way it's actually made, that's not that big of a deal, as long as you're not looking directly in sunlight, if you kind of just shade it with your hand a little bit, totally still legible, it just isn't as good as it was day one when I got it. So with that being said, it's still functional. I'm gonna give it a 7.9, it's a solid product, almost a must buy, but unfortunately because of that fading issue, there might be better options out there, so I can't quite call it a must buy. Number two is gonna be the Regalo Gate, the Regalo Gate, not quite sure how you pronounce that guy. It retails for $70, but I've never seen it being sold for more than like 50 or 55. So you don't really have to worry about that $70 retail price. Reading other reviews, it sounds like quality control is actually a problem for this company. Luckily, I didn't have that problem. The one I got wasn't bent, it was in perfect condition. Also, it comes with a bunch of extension pieces, which is absolutely incredible because I've used this on a 29 inch opening. I've used it on a 50 inch opening. So a lot of flexibility in how to actually use this product. It is the kind of gate that actually screws into your walls though. So if you're renting or you don't want to screw holes in your wall, you might want to pass on this. It's not the kind of baby gate you just like push down and pressure just holds it against the walls. You do actually have to screw in your walls here. Also, you can't really cheat with this guy. So if you push the handle down and don't actually fully lock it, it kind of looks like the gate's locked. If your dog's kind of smart like mine is, it took him about a day to realize that if he puts his nose under that, he can just flip it up and walk right out. So absolutely have to use kind of the baby lock on this one. Otherwise your dog's just gonna get out of that room that you're trying to keep him in. Or obviously if you're trying to keep him out of a room because you have company over, he's gonna come right out there and join you guys. So make sure you actually push that lock down. But with that said, the quality control thing, again, I never had an issue with it, but based on that alone, I'm gonna have to give this guy a 7.2. Number three is going to be the Pet Safe Collar. Now this retails anywhere from $6.50 all the way up to $8.50 depending on the size of your dog. Obviously they sell everywhere from extra small all the way up to extra large. And if you're looking for something, just hold tags. So you're just looking for a tag holder, this will do the trick. However, if you put your dog on the leash to just go out to go to the bathroom or whatever and you actually hook it to a collar and not like a harness, I would probably pass on this guy. It just doesn't really hold up that great. There's a lot better options out there. So with that being said, it's gonna be a 4.7. For me personally, this one's a pass. Number four is gonna be the Bergen Gourmet Combo Pack. This is gonna be a food and water dish. 
So they retail for $32. I've never seen them sell at that price point. They're usually around $20. They say petite on the website. They absolutely are not. The water container holds over a gallon and a half of water and the food dish holds over six pounds of food. So you can just imagine how large they actually are in real life. If you're somebody who leaves their dog in like a playpen over day, or if you know you're gonna drop them off at your family member's house and they're staying in a playpen there, it's probably gonna take up a decent amount of space in that. So they are significantly bigger than you think they would be. Also the autofill portion of it's just okay. The food dish, sometimes I have to shake so the food will actually come down. It feeds from the top, which is actually a really smart design, but the water dish doesn't. You actually have to feed it from the bottom and you have to unscrew this cap to get it out. It's kind of annoying. It's not exactly the best screw type mechanism. My wife actually struggles with it a decent amount. So they're okay, but honestly, I think there's better options out there. We'll call them a 6.8. Number five is gonna be the bone dry microfiber towel. So this guy retails for 20 bucks, but again, I've never seen it sell for $20. It's usually somewhere between $6 and $10. And this is just a microfiber towel for wiping your dog off after they shower. It looks absolutely adorable. It has a little paw print on it. It's a good size and it's super soft. But honestly, it very, very quickly becomes oversaturated when you're trying to dry your dog off. And honestly, I almost always have to reach for a second towel. So realistically, at that price point, I don't really think it's worth that much money. I'd rather just go out there to Walmart. You can buy a regular bath towel and just have that one specifically for your dog. For cheaper than what you can get this guy for, it works a lot better. We're gonna give this guy a 4.9 just because there's significantly better options out there, like buying just a normal towel. Number six is gonna be the Four Paws Night Bright Leash. This one retails about $20, and realistically, you're probably gonna have to pay $20. I almost never see this one on sale. And it is an absolutely incredible night walking leash with one massive flaw. So first we'll talk about the positives. The leash is very, very thick and it won't just wear down on you like some other leashes do. It's also so reflective that I actually tried to take a picture of it one time and this is kind of what came out, which is really interesting because it doesn't look like it'd be super reflective, but it absolutely is. The massive downside here is a, kind of a massive flaw actually in the handle itself. There's a little piece of plastic that kind of slides up and down and it'll easily cut off your circulation if your dog sees either a car that they run after or a squirrel they run after. I don't have to worry about it with my dog because he's not a huge puller, but I've seen a lot of people that walk dogs, their dog kind of pulls on them a little bit. This leash is gonna have a massive flaw for you. It's really gonna hurt your wrist. And sometimes it kind of gets stuck where you just can't put your hand in the leash because it gets too tight. So this could have easily been in the eights. Unfortunately, it's gotta be a 6.8. It's not a bad leash, but there's definitely better ones out there. Number seven is gonna be the old faithful trucket balls. These things are absolutely incredible. They retail for about $11, but realistically on Chewy, you can usually get them for like five or six. So never buy these ones in store. You're almost always way cheaper on Chewy. And for me personally, I think this is a must have for every single dog owner out there. Chucket balls are the real deal. My dog will destroy anything plush, anything rope toys. So realistically, I can only really get rubber and nylon toys. Anything other than that, he just absolutely wrecks. Over the course of the last year, he's only had two of them. He did put a tooth hole in one of them, but luckily it's kind of the way they function. When he bites down, you can kind of hear the air escaping, but it really doesn't matter. It kind of pops right back into regular form. So it's still absolutely usable. It's still one of his favorite toys out there. They're easily worth eight to $10 a ball. But usually, like I said, you can get them for about three to five dollars per ball. So absolutely one of those things that, this is one of my favorite products out there. It's probably my dog's favorite toy to have. So this is gonna be our first one that actually tops that nine threshold. This is gonna be a 9.3. Number eight are gonna be the various stuffed toys that we've tried. I bought a fox, I bought a moose, a rabbit. They had like a three pack of toys with squeakers in it. So we bought a bunch of these before we realized that my dog just absolutely wrecks anything stuffed. We kind of got these when we first got them. And unfortunately, I can't really grade these just because my dog destroyed all of them in under an hour. So with that being said, I will grade them in terms of durability, but my dog just isn't a plush dog, so maybe your dog is. These might actually be good for him. So just in terms of durability, the rabbit, I don't even think this thing's a dog toy. It was gone in like two seconds. The three pack, the positives here is that you get three. Minutes of enjoyment until he absolutely wrecks all three toys. They last about a minute a piece. It's kind of cool because they have multiple squeakers in them. So he liked that for about two seconds, but you kind of have to watch out because they'll pull the squeakers right out of these things. You don't want them to choke on those. I realistically probably would not buy this for a pet. The next one down there's gonna be the moose. This was easily the coolest looking one and it was made by the company Kong. So I was kind of excited because they make a lot of toys that are pretty durable. It lasted a playing session. I had to throw that one out. And finally the fox. Now, partially, I think this is because it was his first toy, so he kind of babied it a little bit. He was also just a little bit younger when he had this one, but it absolutely was the most durable out of the ones for us. So again, no grade on these guys. They all just got wrecked, but those are the kind of the durability ratings and how well they held up. Number nine is gonna be the Kong Genius toy. 
Now this guy retails for about $8.49 and that's pretty much what you're gonna find it for. Not usually on sale here. And this one is really interesting and I'm not sure exactly how to grade this one just because this is supposed to be one of those treat toys where you throw the treats in it, your dog plays with it and gets the treats out. However, even a human with thumbs and fingers is gonna struggle to get things out of this thing. It's very, very tough and your dog probably won't get stuff out unless they're a true genius or they play for hours to get like one little treat out of it. With that being said, in terms of just being a chunk of rubber, this thing's absolutely incredible. It's way stronger than any of those super chewer rubber toys I've bought. So I've tried things like BarkBox, I've tried things like Bully Make, and their rubber toys just don't hold up. This thing I've had since last Easter, and he plays with this probably more than any other toy. So he really likes to chuck at toys because he likes to play fetch. But in terms of just sitting down and gnawing on something, he probably chews on this thing more than anything else we have. And it's kind of one of those weird things because it sucks at what it's designed to do. It is absolutely terrible at what it's designed to do. But if you buy this just as a rubber toy for your dog to just sit there and chew on, it's the strongest piece of rubber I've ever seen. So we're going to give it an 8.2 because I think it's a must-have for a rubber chew toy, but it sucks for what it's designed to do. Number 10 is going to be the steel-framed elevated bed. These retail for about $25, and you can usually find them on sale for about 5 or 6 bucks cheaper than that. They're very, very good construction. This thing feels very solid, but my dog doesn't seem to understand this thing's a bed, so I can't really grade it. I don't know how long it would hold up because he doesn't seem to realize he's supposed to lay on it even if I set him on it. Number 11 is gonna be the Pet Champion tie-out. Retails for about 10 bucks and it doesn't usually go on sale. That's about what you're gonna to have to pay for it. It's pretty strong, but the hooks on it kind of rust out quicker than other brands I've used. So it's hard to open up, especially in the winter. It kind of freezes up. They're not really the best quality I've ever seen. We'll give it a 5.7. It's not bad, but there's better ones there. If you can get it on sale for five or six bucks, it makes it cheaper than other ones. Maybe it's worth picking up, but at full retail, I can find better ones for $10. Number 12 is gonna be the Loving Pet Pet Dishes. Kind of a weird name there. They retail for about $6.50 a piece, but usually you can catch them on sale for about three or $4 a piece. These are just cheap dishes that are wider on the bottom than they are on the top. So they are a little bit spill proof, which is nice. The rubber on these is completely worthless. So don't think about it being like an anti-skid type thing. The rubber's garbage, it kind of just falls right off. We use them kind of as travel dishes. So if we're gonna go for a walk or if I'm gonna drop my dog off in my parents' house for a couple days, I'll kind of give them these dishes to feed them out of rather than lugging around those bigger dishes. But with that being said, they're just okay. Don't pay more than $4 a piece for these. They're definitely not worth more than that. You can get way cheaper options just going down to something like Dollar General. So with that being said, we'll rate them a 5.5. You can find them on sale, they're worth it. If not, pass on it. But this absolutely is not gonna be your primary food dish. Number 13 is gonna be the Nyla Bone. So these retail anywhere from $3 to $14, depending on the size. Almost always on sale, so make sure you take a look at the prices. You almost never pay full retail for these guys. Now aside from rubber, nylon is the only other thing I can give Jasper because he just destroys everything else in the world. And I've gone through a lot of different nylon products. They usually last about a week or two and I throw them out. With this guy, I wish I would have bought the XL, but I bought the large. At the time, it was within his weight range, but he did kind of grow up a little bit. We kind of hit a little bit of a growth spurt. But overall, just the XL in general would have been a way better purchase. But even with just the large, after about a month, almost half the bonus left. I have to say, compared to other nylon toys out there, I'm kind of impressed. We'll give this an 8.3. It's one of the better ones I've used. Number 14 is going to be another nylon chew. This one has kind of a berry flavor to it, so that's kind of interesting. Price point on these ones looks like it's actually cheaper, but that's just because the XL actually has a very, very high retail price on the Nyla Bones. If you take a look at just the larges in these two, the berry bone actually charges about an extra 50 cents per bone if you look at the large sizes. My dog clearly likes the smell and the flavor of this one, but the durability isn't nearly as good as the Nyla Bone is. So the fact that it's flavored is kind of interesting. It tells you you can fill it up with peanut butter or kind of the favorite spread. I wouldn't do that. I think the berry flavor and the berry scent on it is good enough for your dog. And like I said, it's okay, but it's not as durable as the Nyla Bone. But hey, it is nice to have some kind of variety. It's nice to mix things up and not just buy Nyla Bone, Nyla Bone, Nyla Bone. So I will give this one a 7.7. .7. It was pretty cool. It just didn't hold up as well as Nyla Bone did. Number 15 is gonna be the Soda Pup Can. Now this is probably the cutest darn thing I've ever seen. It looks just like a soda can, although it is a little bit smaller, even though I got the large size on it. So if you bought the small size, I'm not sure how small this thing would be. Maybe like one of those new like six or eight ounce soda cans, maybe it's more that size. But I'll flash up a picture, show you guys what it looks like compared to a 12 ounce soda can. Just a little bit smaller. This thing does feel semi-durable, but I have to be honest with you, I think it's really cute. My dog doesn't like it as much. He's absolutely played with it. It is one of those toys you can put treats in the bottom. It works a lot better in that sense than the Kong Genius did. 
but my dog just isn't really into it that much. He's absolutely chewed it. He's played with it a couple times. If I take away some of his other toys, but if I leave him a pile of toys, he never picks that one out. And by looking at other reviews, it seems like a lot of other people's dogs are kind of in that same boat where it's a cool toy, but it's absolutely nobody's favorite toy out there. We'll call it a 6.7 because it hasn't been play tested long enough for me to say it's super durable, but it does feel pretty durable. So I don't feel good rating it in the sevens or the eights yet, just because I'm not really sure how it's gonna hold up. So there we have it. 15 products bought on Chewy.com, giving a rating from zero to 10. Let me know if you bought any of these products down below and how you guys feel about them. Anyways, I've been David with Average Your Life. I'll see you guys all very soon.